Hey there you guys! So the year is finally coming to a close, which means it's time for another annual Blu-ray collection video. And I'm really excited because just the other day I hit my 300th movie in my collection. I'm really excited for you guys to see what we got. So without further ado, let's just, let's just get into it. Alright guys, we got shelf number one here. So a lot of these obviously are going to be from last year, but uh... I can't wait to talk to you guys about some of the newer ones I got here. So first off, 8 Mile, 12 Years a Slave, 21 and 22 Jump Street. This is going to feel so familiar to me. Also, I am stacking these in the wrong way. There we go. 28 Days Later, 50-50. 99 Homes, 300, I don't, I don't think I had this one last year, 500 Days of Summer, a uh, good romance movie, Diamond Edition of Aladdin, obviously one of my all-time favorite animated films, Alien and Aliens, last year I said I didn't watch these movies, I have now seen these movies, and they are awesome, as I knew they were going to be. The Amazing Spider-Man, which I still like, surprisingly. American History X, still only seen this movie once, still love it all the same. American Hustle, still haven't watched. <laughs> Anchorman, uh, the Angry Birds movie, still not very happy with that purchase. Argo. Still haven't watched. <laughs> Arrival. I don't think I had this one last year. Uh, this is an amazing movie. Arthur Christmas. My personal favorite Christmas movie. The Artist. Still haven't watched. Uh, I just got this one recently. The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Uh, this, this was different. This was something... I felt I had not seen before, and I'm really, really glad uh, that my girlfriend got this for me. Uh, if you haven't checked this one out yet, check it out. It's, um, it's a lot different than you think it's going to be, at least in my opinion. But then again, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. Uh, I got the big collector's edition of Avatar, because it was like 15 bucks. Age of Ultron, still have normal Avengers over on that shelf. So, this is currently my favorite movie of the year. Uh, I plan on watching one or two movies tonight that came out this year, but uh, up until now, this is my current favorite movie of the year, and that's Baby Driver. I fell in love with this movie so hard when I first saw it, and just nothing has surpassed it yet. It's slick awesome the action scenes are amazing the driving is amazing the soundtrack is amazing the, just everything about it is amazing uh, we don't really need to talk about uh, Kevin Spacey though <laughs> all right uh, get into my animated Batman films Batman Assault on Arkham talked about all these last year I haven't gotten any new ones Batman the Killing Joke and Batman Under the Red Hood and then we got the Dark Knight Trilogy, one of my all-time favorite trilogies. You guys will be surprised to know that a movie actually ended up surpassing the Dark Knight as my favorite movie, though. So, can't wait to talk about that when I get to it. And uh, Batman v Superman. Uh, if you want to know my thoughts on Justice League, I didn't like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Battle Los Angeles. You know, it's it, it feels weird insulting a movie that a lot of people like and then following it up with the fact that I have Battle Los Angeles in my collection. <laughs> Bernie. Uh, good Jack Black movie. Big Hero 6. Steelbook of The Big Lebowski. Amazing Coen Brothers film. The Big Short. Haven't watched it yet. Birdman, um, 
while I can completely agree that the technical aspects like the directing and the music and everything about this movie is absolutely fantastic it's a smidge overhyped to me maybe it's just a little too slow for my taste but that's just me but I can totally acknowledge that it's an incredible movie just maybe not for me Blades of Glory this is for my girlfriend this is one of her all-time favorite movies so I got it for the collection uh, the entire Bourne trilogy in Steelbooks. I fucking love these covers. These are so amazing looking. Braveheart. Got this because of my girlfriend's dad. The Breakfast Club. My mom's favorite movie, I think. It was her first or her second favorite movie. Either way, I adore it as well. Bridge of Spies. Brothers, and A Bug's Life. So that's the first shelf, guys. We have what? One, two, three, four, five shelves to go. <laughs> All right, we're on to the next shelf. Buried. The Cabin in the Woods. If you have not seen The Cabin in the Woods, watch The Cabin in the Woods. I went into a little more detail about it last year. Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Captain America Civil War, Captain Phillips, also another amazing Tom Hanks movie, speaking of which, Castaway, <laughs> Catfish, I, I can't remember if I had this last year or not, but um, I'm a big fan of the show, and it's a good movie. Chappie, as you know, a movie a lot of people dislike that I personally like. Same thing with this, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Chronicle. A Clockwork Orange. Cloud Atlas. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Cloverfield. The Conjuring. I don't think I had this last year, Coraline. Uh, this is an amazing animated movie. My girlfriend got me that. Uh, she also got me Corpse Bride, another amazing animated movie. Creed. I'm really excited for Creed 2. Dallas Buyers Club. Dawn of the Dead. Uh, proof that Zack Snyder can direct a good action movie. At least I like it. Deadpool. Deadpool 2. One of my most anticipated movies for next year. Uh, the three-pack of The Departed, Goodfellas, and The Aviator. A nice Martin Scorsese pack. Very happy I found that. The Descendants. Not the Disney one. Uh, the Descent. One of the scariest fucking movies ever. Just got this one. District 9. Uh, this is one of my personal favorite movies. I know a lot of people don't like Neil Blomkamp, but... This is one of my all-time favorites, and I'm so happy I got it for Christmas. I'm surprised that I never had it before. My mom found it for me at an FYE. Uh, my Steelbook of Django Unchained. I went into depth about how sexy I find that case. <laughs> Doctor Strange. Just got this one. Amazing movie. Dodgeball. My, one of my personal favorite comedies. Don't Breathe, one of the best horror movies of 2016. I believe it was 2016 it came out, right? Well, I can't find it. Anyways. Dope. Awesome movie. Uh, I need to watch this movie again, because this, this could be one of my favorite movies. Dread, highly underrated comic book movie. Drive. This movie kicked ass. Ryan Gosling, you you are amazing at what you do. <laughs> and he is way more than just a pretty face. Jim Carrey's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yep. Uh, my two-pack of Dumb and Dumber and The Mask. Another Jim Carrey set. Easy A. 
Elf, because my collection wouldn't be complete without Elf, especially around this time of the year for Christmas. Uh, Elysium, to round out my Neil Blomkamp movies. End of Watch, awesome cop movie. Everest, still haven't watched this. The Evil Dead, the original version. I saw the 2013 one recently. It's alright, the effects are cool. <laughs> Speaking of good effects, Ex Machina. Just got this recently. Me and my girlfriend, if you saw... In my last video, our Jurassic World reaction, you you got to meet our new puppies, and uh, we show dogs, and our dog Vince is part of a litter that's Harry Potter themed. In dog showing, litters get themes and all this stuff. But anyways, she's a Hufflepuff, so she wanted him to have a Hufflepuff name, so we named him after Newt Scamander. I mean, his name is Vince, but his show name is Newt. So, I'm very happy that I got Fantastic Beasts. Big old collection right here. I got the box set of the first six Fast and the Furious, and then I have Furious 7 and Fate of the Furious right here. My personal guilty pleasure movies. Me and my best friend. Faultner Stars. And my third, third favorite movie, Fight Club. Awesome movie. All right. We're on to the next shelf. All right, let's continue. We have The Fighter, Finding Nemo. I don't think I had this last year. I think I had Finding Dory, but I don't think I had Finding Nemo. And it sucks, because I don't really like Finding Dory, but I love Finding Nemo. I only had Finding Dory because my parents got it for me for Christmas last year. Forrest Gump. Uh, one of my personal favorite horror movies as well, Fright Night, the remake version of it. Frozen. Fury. Uh, proof that David Ayer can direct a good movie, but we need to s maybe uh, give him something that he has a little more free range on. Did he have free range on Bright? I don't know. That seems like a concept that was given to him to work with. Gamer, Get Out, um, definitely in my top 10 of the year, I don't think in my top 5 though, uh, fucking awesome movie, I could go on and on about Get Out, but I have a lot of movies to get through, <laughs> The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, I've noticed David Fincher has a thing with his Blu-rays where they all come in such weird cases. In fact, I'm about to get to another one in just a second here. Uh, the Godfather and The Godfather Part 2, both in Steelbook. Godzilla. Here's the one I'm talking about, Gone Girl. This one comes with an Amazing Amy book. If you've seen the movie, you know what that is. But, I don't know. But, uh, gives them really cool cases. And I like it. Uh, Gran Torino. Really fucking sad movie. Gravity, a movie that gave me insane anxiety, because <laughs> uh, I already don't like flying, let alone being in space by myself. Uh, one of the most disgusting movies I've ever seen in my life, The Green Inferno. I saw this in theaters and I was like shaking in my seat because I'm just like, this is fucking disgusting. Uh, if you've seen Eli Ross movies, you know how he feels about gore and... Uh, he does not shy away from it in that film. Uh, Gremlins. The Grey. I got this one recently. It's a good Liam Neeson movie. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. The Guest. Really cool movie. Uh, Adam Wingard. You... I... I don't know what to say about Adam Wingard. He's... He had two movies that I liked, that most people like, You're Next and The Guest, but then it was, it's just all terrible after that. <laughs> uh, Hacksaw Ridge, one of my personal favorites from last year. The Hangover, just the first one though. Okay, quick thing before I show you this movie. 
Uh, I was originally planning to just get the box set of all of these, but I don't know, something about having each of them in their own individual cases felt a little more satisfying to me, especially uh, when they have these kind of cool looking cases to them. Uh, but I figured I was just gonna grab my favorite one first and then just work my way through them because they're only like 15, 10 to 15 bucks each. Uh, that's Harry Potter. I got The Goblet of Fire because this is mine and my girlfriend's favorite of the Harry Potter movies. Uh, if you're curious, I am a Ravenclaw. <laughs> but that is currently the only one I have besides Fantastic Beasts. The Hateful Eight, I got to see this at one of the screenings where it had the intermission in between it. Oh, loved it. <laughs> Heller High Water, I'm really glad that this got an Oscar nod last year. Her, one of my favorite romance movies. Hidden Figures, I got this recently. Home. So, I watched this very recently, like very, very recently. I think just last week. I know everybody hates this movie so much, but I'm sorry, it's got a lot of creative ideas in it to me. With like, just the way the aliens are designed and how they work and the way their society works. It's cute, it's harmless. I I don't understand the amount of hate it's getting on it. Like, Rihanna as the girl, I'm sorry to my girlfriend if she's watching this, Rihanna as the girl didn't work for me. She, she was not a good actress for it. Jim Parsons as the alien is fine. I like the cats. It's cute. It's cute. It's harmless. I don't understand why it gets as much hate as it does. Hot Tub Time Machine. Hotel Transylvania 1 and 2. Uh, I really hope the third one is good. I'm kind of worried about it because the second one went a little too cartoony for me. Where the first one I felt had a perfect balance of it. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. Sorry that these keep getting into the fucking way. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon 1 and 2, some of the best DreamWorks movies ever. If the third one is amazing, we're gonna have an amazing trilogy on our hands. Sorry I keep using the word amazing so much. And I Am Legend. Okay, let's... Scoo oh, ooh, those almost fell. So sorry you guys are getting some Blu-rays in the corner there for a second. Alright, The Imitation Game. The Impossible. I haven't watched this one yet, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm really excited to watch it at some point. Uh, finally got this. I should have had this forever ago. Inception. I even got to, like, the cool, uh, holographic case. Another one I got very recently, Inglorious Bastards. Kick-ass Quentin Tarantino movie. Just got this for Christmas, since the sequel is going to be coming out next year. I needed to have this in my collection, The Incredibles. Uh, probably my favorite Pixar movie. Although, I adored Coco, so I guess we're going to have to see. Because Coco might be my favorite, but The Incredibles has stuck with me the longest. Uh, another one of my favorite Pixar movies, Inside Out. Interstellar. Just Iron Man 3. I don't have Iron Man 1 and 2. And I love Iron Man. It's one of my go-to movies. But it's so weird to me that I only have Iron Man 3. Well, I guess it's not weird. I'm just broke. <laughs> A lot of these I get as gifts and stuff. So that's why I have so many. Plus I will go and just find bargain bin ones. So... Iron Man 1 and 2 are always like 20 something bucks and that's more than I'm willing to spend. Unless it's a movie I really, really, really love. Uh, Jackass 3, I found this in a bargain bin. <laughs> Jaws, also found in a bargain bin. Fuck. Sorry, I knocked over <laughs> my movies. And I only have the first John Wick. I think I need to re-watch the second John Wick because the first time I watched it, I think I was just kind of sleepy and I didn't connect with it very much and I felt like I didn't like it, but like, it's John Wick, 
so I practically have to like it. <laughs> All right, that's that show. Next one. All right, we're getting into some really good movies. I don't know why, but like on those shows, I feel like there's a lot of my better movies are up there. So let's get on with it. Jumanji, sequel just came out. Haven't seen it yet. I've seen the first Jumanji. I'm talking, I haven't seen the sequel yet. The Jungle Book. I like this better than the original. Just leave it at that. All uh, right, the Jurassic World, or Jurassic Park, Quadrilogy so far. I mean, we're getting the new one obviously next year. I just did a video about it. Go over to my channel if you haven't seen that yet. Justice League Dark. I got this one a few months ago. I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard a lot of good things. The Karate Kid. Kick Ass. Another one of my favorite comic book movies. King Kong. Alright, guys. Here it is. This is the movie that dethroned uh, The Dark Knight and became my favorite movie of all time. I had this last year, I watched it a few more times, and it is just the embodiment of everything I like about movies. And that, my friends, is Kingsman The Secret Service. It's not a masterpiece. But it's just, it's everything that I love about movies. It's self-aware, it's slick, it's funny, it's well-acted, the music is amazing. It's just, oh, everything about it is pure perfection to me. Uh, the sequel, not as good, but still good. Uh, another Colin Firth movie, King's Speech. Kung Fu Panda Trilogy. They don't have uh, one of these kinds of cases for Kung Fu Panda 3, at least as far as I've seen. This is probably my favorite movie from last year. Uh, I know that it's kind of split on it, but I adored it. La La Land. <laughs> Uh, I recently got the pop figures, you can probably see them there. Right there. Well, I can... Sorry, I'm looking at my computer trying to... Right there. There they are. I found them at a Barnes & Noble, I'm really happy. Uh, this movie's so cute, and the music... Oh my god, the music. I have blasted this soundtrack ever since I first saw this movie. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. It's not for everybody, I can totally admit that, but it was absolutely for me, and I'm so glad I saw it. I bought that Blu-ray the day it came out. Alright, moving along. The Last Samurai. The Lego Movie. The Lego Batman Movie. Awesome. <laughs> Let Me In. Not really for me. I bought it because I heard good things about it and I found it for like five bucks, so I'm just like, I'll get it. Not really for me, but uh, Matt Reeves has done other stuff I like. Life of Pi. Lights Out. This is such a creative concept for a movie. Uh, I'm really glad that he got the opportunity to turn his short film into a full movie, and I think he did good. It's, it's not anything incredible by any means, but... I enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, this is in my top five of the year currently. Logan. Oh my god. Such an amazing send-off for Hugh Jackman. It was everything I could have ever wanted. The Dark Knight of the X-Men movies. Lone Survivor. Looney Tunes back in action. I know a lot of people don't like this, but I have a soft spot for it because it was a big part of my childhood. Uh, a Looney Tunes showcase, just because I love the Looney Tunes. Uh, I only have The Return of the King of the Lord of the Rings movies, just because that was always my favorite, and that was one I watched a lot as a kid, so... It's currently the only one I could find in person, and I don't really feel like ordering the other ones unless I have some disposable money. So, that's that. Mad Max Fury Road. 
Man of Steel. Uh, another one that I got just a couple months ago, but I, I have not watched this yet, but uh, it was a Best Picture nominee last year. That's Manchester by the Sea. I've heard it's very sad. The Martian. Megamind. Start moving these over, because they're about to start blocking you guys again. Uh, Mission Impossible. I said that right. Yeah, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Uh, I've seen Ghost Protocol. I've not seen Rogue Nation, but again, I found it for really cheap and I heard good things about it. Moana. Awesome Disney movie. Uh, Monsters, Inc. fans are going to be pissed at me. I only have Monsters University. I do not have Monsters, Inc. <laughs> wow, I've got to... Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to move these back to over here. Her. Best Picture winner last year, Moonlight. I've watched this movie two times. Uh, it's a bit slow. This is definitely not a movie for everybody, but it's it's a filmmaker's or a, a film lover's type of movie. If you love movies, this is definitely something you should check out. Uh, I got a two pack here of Mulan one and two. Mulan, if you don't know, is my favorite animated movie of all time. Uh, the second one, not not so much, but um, this is the only version I could find in person uh, of Mulan on Blu-ray, was to get it with the second one. Napoleon Dynamite, one of the most quoted movies ever. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, I watched this for Christmas with my girlfriend's family. Uh, I have not watched this movie yet, Nerve, but I've heard decent things about it, and I'm curious to watch it. The Nice Guys, another movie that shows Ryan Gosling. He's the fucking man, dude. <laughs> Nightcrawler, Jake Gyllenhaal was fucking snubbed so hard for this movie. Uh, no Country for Old Men and Gone Baby Gone. Have not watched Gone Baby Gone, love No Country for Old Men. Haven't watched this one yet, heard really good things. Nocturnal Animals, I got that one when I was working at a video store. Uh, a bunch of these ones that I've talked about, I got while working at the video store, but uh, I don't know, I don't know why I felt to mention it just for that one. <laughs> now You See Me, just the first one, I don't know the second one. Uh, a movie from my childhood that I found for $2, uh, Open Season. It's even the 3D version, which is good because I have a 3D TV. Pacific Rim, the ultimate of dick flicks. <laughs> Peanuts movie. Prisoners. Uh, I think this was the first of Denis Villeneuve's movies that I ever saw. And uh, I'm so glad that it was because it's awesome. Project Almanac. Uh, I don't even remember why I got this movie. It's fun. It's not good, but it's fun. I genuinely don't remember why I got it. Uh, another movie, not good, but fun, Project X. Pulp Fiction, obviously, one of the greatest movies of all time. Uh, another guilty pleasure movie of mine, just because I like some of the ideas in it, and that's Push. Uh, I have The Raid 1 and 2. Some of the best choreography when it comes to fights ever. Rango. And, uh, okay. I only have this movie because I was stupid as a kid and liked it when it came out. When did this come out? 2012, so I would have been... Four, 14? 14 or 15? I was right at that age where really stupid action movies were what I love to watch. Uh, it's the remake of Red Dawn. It's not good. It's really, really not good. All right, we're down to the final two shelves. I'm really excited to get to the end of this because uh, it is 3.36 in the morning. <laughs> Let's do this. Reservoir Dogs. The Revenant. I finally got to complete my trilogy 
Uh, on Christmas this year, I got War for the Planet of the Apes, now completing one of my new favorite trilogies ever. Road to Perdition. Robots. Got that one a couple months ago. Got this for Christmas. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Rush. Probably one of the most controversial movies of the last year or so. Sausage Party. Saving Mr. Banks. Uh, all seven Saw movies, not including Jigsaw. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Proof that a video game movie can be done right. Is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, is it a comic book movie or is it a video game movie? I'm not really sure. I don't know a lot about Scott Pilgrim outside of the Edgar Wright movie. <laughs> Seabiscuit, not really for me. I got it because I heard good things and then I watched it and it wasn't really for me. The Secret Life of Pets. such a bad taste in my mouth because of Louis C.K. He was my favorite comedian and now it's all down the tubes. <laughs> Selma. Seth MacFarlane's Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy. I was blown away that I found this on Blu-ray because first off I didn't even know this had a Blu-ray. Second, I used to watch this a ton when it first came out uh, just online and uh I'm just blown away that I found it in a dollar store in one of, like, have you ever been to, like, Dollar Tree and they have, like, the Blu-rays and DVDs in, like, these, like, little filing cabinet things? But, uh, anyways, that's what I found, and I was really happy. Seven. The Shawshank Redemption. Shrek. This is... The most recent movie I got, this is my 300th movie in my collection, Shrek 2. One of the best DreamWorks movies, one of the best animated movies of all time. Shrek the Musical, if you want to know why I have that, go watch last year's video. I watched this for the first time on the car ride to go get our dog Vince, Sicario. Oh my god. I loved it so much! <laughs> Denis Villeneuve is amazing! Silence of the Lambs. Silver Linings Playbook. The Simpsons movie, one of my favorite animated movies. Sin City. Sing. I know a lot of people don't like Sing. I like Sing. I thought it was really cute. I liked uh, the covers of the songs in it. And it really felt like a lot of passion was put into it. Maybe that's just me, maybe I'm just an idiot, but it felt like a lot of passion was put into this movie. Sinister, awesome horror movie. Uh, one of my favorite underrated movies, Snowpiercer. The Social Network, another movie that he packaged really weird. Source Code, South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, South Paw, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man Trilogy, another one I got for Christmas, Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm so happy Spider-Man is back in Marvel. You have no idea. Also, that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse trailer Wow! I am so excited because I love Miles Morales. Alright, before I fucking orgasm over that movie. Alright, Split, Spotlight, Spy, sorry I keep hitting my mic, Stand By Me. Uh, the only Star Trek movie I have, weirdly, I found it in an ABC warehouse. Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. It was like two bucks. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Alright. Here are my thoughts on The Last Jedi real quick. I liked it. Is it as good as Force Awakens? No. But Kylo Ren is so much more fleshed out. He's so much cooler. 
Uh, porgs, they're not annoying. I just noticed Lucas on the case. It's really weird to put him on the case of Force Awakens. Uh, the Finn and Rose stuff, completely disposable. I completely agree. Uh, the way they handled uh, Carrie Fisher dying. I'm not saying Carrie Fisher dying in the movie. Okay, I'm gonna put a spoiler before that. Uh, I'm really confused as to what they're gonna do with her. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking about it before I accidentally spoil anything else. Storks, very underrated animated movie. Suicide Squad, not very good. It was two bucks where I was working, so I just grabbed it because it's got some redeeming stuff in it. Straight out of Compton. All right, this one, not a movie, but this is one of the coolest packagings I've ever seen on a Blu-ray. This is the Target exclusive Stranger Things Blu-ray collection. It also comes with the DVD. Uh, just look at the detail on this thing. It's supposed to look like an old worn out VHS case. It's even got like this old garage sale type sticker on it. And when you pull it out, it comes in like this VHS tape. It's just, oh my God, this thing is so fucking cool. And it even comes with a Demogorgon poster, which I still have to hang on. Uh, I love Stranger Things. That put away. All right. Super 8. Super bad. Superman Batman Apocalypse, another one of my Batman-esque, or well, my DC animated films. Uh, another one of my favorite underrated movies, this one being animated, Surf's Up. Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. Ted 1 and 2. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. I think I talked about this movie last year and why I have it. And then Terminator 2, Judgment Day. We're on the last shelf. We are on the last shelf. We are on the home stretch. I'm gonna get this all done in one take this time. I, if you saw my video last year, it took me three tries of filming this entire Blu-ray collection. And oh my God, let's just pray that I get it this time. <laughs> all right guys, here we are. The last of my movies, The Thing. This is the end. Appropriate since we're approaching the end. The Town. Toy Story and Toy Story 2. I don't have Toy Story 3. Alright, so I have the first Transformers and I have the third Transformers. I genuinely love the first Transformers. I genuinely love the last hour of Dark of the Moon. And that's it. <laughs> Treasure Planet. True Grit, the Coen Brothers version. Uh, a movie I got because I liked it the first time I watched it. Now I watch it as an unintentional comedy that's unfriended. The Walk. Uh, I got this because I heard good things. I haven't watched it yet. Mike here. Warm Bodies. The Director's Cut of Watchmen. Wedding Crashers. Where the Wild Things Are. Another one of my all-time favorites, Whiplash. Because I could never get enough of Damien Chazelle. <laughs> Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The Witch. My fourth favorite movie of all time, The Wolf of Wall Street. The World's End. Uh, this is the only one of the Cornetto trilogy that I have. Right? Yeah, I don't have Shaun of the Dead. Wreck-It Ralph. Really excited for the sequel. Alright, got a bit of a stack here. Uh, I have all the X-Men movies. Uh, I got X-Men, X2, X-Men The Last Stand, X-Men First Class. X-Men Days of Future Past, including the Rogue Cut, and X-Men Apocalypse. 
Thoughts on New Mutants. What the fuck? That's so weird looking. And that's all I gotta say about it. Uh, X-Men Dark Phoenix. I hope it's good. I don't have high hopes for it, but I hope it's good. Year Without a Santa Claus. Zero Dark Thirty. Zodiac. I love... I love the casing for this one as well. David Fincher continuing with the weird cases. It looks like a letter. I think that's just that's just really cool looking to me. Zombieland and Zootopia. Uh, another one of my all-time favorite animated movies. So that is it, you guys. Sorry it's not as in-depth as last year was. Uh, you know, I... I didn't get a ton of new movies, but I got quite a few. But uh, I didn't, re I couldn't remember what all new ones I got, so I kind of just flew through them. Because I also want to try and make this video just a little shorter than last year. Also, you know, it's 3:51 in the morning now. Uh, I'm really sorry, you guys, that I don't upload as often as I'd like to. Because trust me, I really want to upload videos regularly. But I live a very hectic life at the moment. I'm working an almost full-time job, and then I'm trying to find another job that is full-time. Uh, me and my girlfriend are trying to move out. Uh, I got the two puppies I gotta take care of. When I'm not working, I'm at my girlfriend's house. It's just, it's just hectic right now. So, I, one of my New Year's resolutions, I'm gonna say, is I want to put out more videos than I did this year hope I can do it. Anyways, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching me talk about all of my movies once again. And tell me some of your favorite movies that came out this year. I'm very curious to know. I've always loved talking about movies with people. So, thank you, and have a happy new year, you guys.